we there? Yeah. yeah. We running? Yeah. Okay. So here's the uh, here's the intro then. Um, uh, two fingers on the seventh fret there. Three strokes. Back to the fifth fret once. Uh, and then this position third and fourth here uh, once. Back to the beginning uh, of the fingerboard. Three stroke. And off. So I get and that's played twice. And then immediately to the, the verse. And here here's the strumming pattern then. It does in fact start with a little upstroke. is that this arm is going up and down. If I forget the muting, that's the strum without any muting. It's completely standard. And with the muting... Um, okay, there's the pattern for the verse. It goes to the G7 chord. And uh, as we said, you're better with that G7 version where you've got that little finger on the, uh, on the D note on the second string there. Back to your D. Then you get this A7 uh, plus uh, sus4 um, for four beats, uh, half a bar each of C and G. Which you can do just with one finger, that G, if you want to get the guitar and tune in. That G is okay with one finger back to D. If I played the verse through, you've got this. you're changing uh, now to a G chord, you want this full version of G where your little finger's holding the G, your third finger's holding the D, and really that version of G you want to put in everywhere where you normally play an old fashioned G like that. That is the correct way to play a full G chord. Um, two bars of G, back to two bars of D, and we were saying that you could drag, drag that D chord. Um, goes back to G again, and then you get um, uh, a D just held with a two bars of silence, and the same thing, an A minor held with two bars of silence. So the chorus becomes. <laughs> Yes. 